Brought to you by Roborock. What's up guys, we are back and it's time to take a look at the crazy future of Samsung. There's been some big, big exciting stuff that we need to discuss that will change everything from software advancements to hardware. With everything that's planned, Samsung could do something that we didn't expect and that is saying a final goodbye to Android. Yes, according to the latest rumor coming from South Korea, in a few years, Samsung could say goodbye to Android and use Fuchsia OS on its upcoming Galaxy smartphones. This is actually the second time we're hearing this rumor. You may have heard about Fuchsia OS before. In case you haven't, Fuchsia OS is basically considered as a successor of Android. It's a new operating system that is being developed by Google that could run on future Pixel devices and Chromebooks. It's got certain developer level advantages over Android like a better kernel, new toolkit for applications, basically the stuff that will allow Google to have even better control on their software combined with their own chip in return giving users the best software experience. It seems like Samsung is very much interested in this project. There is a possibility that both companies are working on it. We have seen Samsung x Google this year at its best. They did a wonderful job creating the Tizen Wear OS for smartwatches and not to mention Google doing a fantastic job by optimizing the software for the Galaxy Fold. Also Samsung's major role with the camera hardware of the Pixel 6 series as well as the chip. These companies are working together so like I said it is possible that this may be another big Samsung X Google collaboration for the future. Now this is still years away so we'll still have to wait and see what happens. Now before we talk about Samsung's crazy human eye camera project let's take a look at my new home cleaning beast the Roborock S7. This is an intelligent robot vacuum cleaner that sets itself apart from the competition by using its sonic mopping technology that scrubs the floor up to 3 thousand times per minute that dirt you have on your floor is gone it's got intelligent mop that lifts itself and a carpet is detected so you can mop hard floors and vacuum carpets in a single clean oh and did i mention the ultra carpet recognition technology where it literally scans the whole carpet with extraordinary accuracy the all new rubber brush is super durable and fine-tuned to get that perfect clean result it's got a built-in multi-level mapping system using the lidar 3d navigation which creates detailed maps of your home and identifies your rooms across up to four levels. One of my favorite features is the advanced scheduling which allows me to schedule the cleaning times like 10 a.m. every morning and 1 p.m. on the weekends. You can also set no-go zones or invisible walls where it won't disturb that area. This robot vacuum cleaner literally listens to you thanks to the built-in voice recognition system using Alexa, Google Home or Siri. And when all that cleaning is done, the auto empty dog feature allows the robot to collect the dust and dirt automatically so you can keep cleaning for up to 8 weeks without having to worry about emptying the bag yourself. So I highly recommend you guys invest in Roborock S7. It made my life so much better. Check out my special link in the description down below. Now Samsung's end goal for the future is to match the megapixel count of the human eye, basically creating an insane camera sensor that has worked very similar to a human eye. We've talked about this before and recently Samsung made their plans clear during a press conference with Techno. Samsung said that this is their long-term goal and they will be able to achieve this in just a couple of years. Currently Samsung is working on a 200 megapixel sensor which they have officially announced as Isocell HP1. This sensor has yet to be shipped inside a smartphone. Very likely it's going to be a Xiaomi flagship phone in 2022 using this sensor. Now, apart from Xiaomi, Samsung has also part partner directly with MediaTek to optimize their 200 megapixel sensor with the MediaTek's new 9000 chip, meaning we could see at least one flagship phone with the MediaTek flagship chip to have this 200 megapixel sensor. Now apart from all this, in the recent weeks we have seen some crazy crazy innovative plans regarding the Galaxy smartwatch of the future. Samsung is looking to create the most insane smartwatch ever. According to this illustration from Samsung, you can see that we have a normal squared looking screen on a watch with a crown on the side, but the display can extend to become almost like a mini smartphone. We have seen phone tablet hybrid combo but never a smartwatch phone combo. 
This is actual madness. The patent is said to be around 113 pages long. According to Let's Go Digital, this is the most detailed patent from Samsung that they've ever seen. Now, if you thought this was crazy, Samsung has another smartwatch patent that shows off a smartwatch with a rollable screen that slides to reveal the underscreen camera. Now, I don't know how useful this camera will be on a smartwatch, but this definitely looks pretty cool. Looking at these two patents, it's very clear that Samsung is definitely planning something big for the future of its Galaxy smartwatches. Along with the new technology and innovation, Samsung could say goodbye to Android and move together with Google to a brand new operating system for the betterment of the overall experience. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.